Hello everyone, and welcome to this introductory video on EarthSci, where we're going to look at raster data. EarthSci recognizes raster data in two particular ways, as a digital elevation model, or as a 2D RGB or grayscale image map. There are lots of examples of raster data in the common Earth model, but to begin with we are going to look at the Osbathy 09 map. This is a large elevation data set derived from a lot of different bathymetry sources. To load it I'm going to find it in the catalog, and then double click. There are three layers for this map in the Common Earth model, one to give us a height map or dem, one to give us a color relief, and one to give us a hill shade. So what EarthSci does when it reads a digital elevation model or dem is it reads the values inside the data and uses them to displace the globe, giving us variations in the globe to create features such as mountains, shelves, and canyons. Now that I've loaded those in, I'm going to zoom into the Gippsland. I'll quickly increase the vertical exaggeration so that we can better see the detail on the shelf. If I toggle the demo just added in off and on, you'll be able to see that it's changing the surface of the globe, changing the detail in the canyons that we're looking at. RGB and grayscale layers, however, are draped across the surface. This coloured map creates different colours on the surface, and the hillshade gives a shadow and highlight effect as if the dam has been lit by the sun. Selecting these layers allows us to change the opacity. So if I select the hillshade layer and then go up to the opacity slider at the top of the scene view, I can fade that off to control the look of the hillshade, or I can select the color map and fade that off to show NASA's blue marbles sitting underneath it. Thanks for watching this video on raster data in EarthSci. For more information, please visit ga.gov.au/earthsci.